Okay, hello there everybody. This is the Arctic Platypus here today, and today I'm gonna bring you the view a review of a game that I think should not be played by anybody. First off, I'm just gonna say this straight up. Do not buy this game. Okay? Please, in the middle of this review, whatever you're thinking, please do not buy this game. Um uh, if you have a ton of money to spare, still do not buy this game. It's not worth it at all. Daisy standalone. Oh my gosh. I don't even know what to say about this. I've had to put myself put myself through four and a half hours of this. And oh my gosh. It was slightly entertaining for the first like five minutes maybe. When I actually noticed the graphics that were that are okay. But then they got repetitive. Oh my gosh. I just I don't even know. I don't even know. I I don't understand how 20,000 human beings are wasting their life playing this game right this second. <sighs> First off, okay, I'm going to start off with the performance. How this game runs. Okay, if you want to check out my channel in the about section of my channel, you can see my system specs. I can run Battlefield 4 in ultra settings, absolute ultra while recording at 60 FPS or 30 FPS. Never below 30, and it looks so good. I was playing DayZ standalone, which the graphics are not even close to as good as Battlefield 4's graphics. I was playing this game at medium settings while recording. Note, it was while recording. The most it went was 24 FPS. That is an utter failure. I should be able to play this game on absolute maxed out settings. I should be able to play it like I play Battlefield 4. But I I went to the very lowest settings. I lowered my resolution to to like 720p. That's I never play games on 720p. It looks horrible. It would still not get above 30. Ah, 30 FPS. It's, it's horrible. It's horrible. I, I don't even know what to say. And when I set it to high, when I set it to low, I, it's just not even much change in the F, in that performance. I don't... I, this game is horrible. It runs on the Arma 2 engine. I'm mean, sure I've never really played that game. I've never played the Daisy mod for Arma 2. This is an unbiased review. Ah... I don't even know. It's it's horrible. <sighs> the controls are absolute shit. The controls, they're so bad. They're so, so bad, the controls. They're... I'm trying to walk through a door, okay? I'm trying to walk through a door. The... Oh my gosh. I had trouble walking through a door. I did... I, I don't even know. Okay, it, despite the controls and the performance, what the hell is there to do? I spawn in the game. You can see I have an axe, which I found after a god awful amount of time walking through the same looking map. It just looks the same in every single goddamn place. I'm walking up a massive hill, noticing some strange graphics effect, causing my game to look like there's a 3D analyst applied to the fucking grass. I finally reach a town. I walk up to the door of a building. I can't fucking open it. Once I eventually make my way clunkily through the door of a house using the shit controls, I get the, into the design of a house which I've seen repeated dozens of times repeatedly. The same goddamn house. The floors are bare as a baby's ass. Nothing's lootable. Occasionally I'll find the miscellaneous piece of shit on the floor. Other than that, there's nothing. After playing around in this walking simula simulator for a bit, I got tired of the graphics, which are good, but a bit repetitive. I was walking through a city. Goddamn invisible zombie starts sprinting after me. He actually makes contact with my skin. To sum this up, this game's a fucking walking simulator with horrible controls, nothing to do, and ass loads of glitches. 
I know it's early access, but unless they do a complete engine overhaul, then this game will always be pretty damn shitty. Honestly, how in the name of fuck are 20,000 people playing this game right this second? It is a piece of utter bullshit. Please, save your money. Go buy Seven Days to Die, which is a damn good game. Peace out.